What's happening, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans? This is former Buccaneers defensive tackle James Canada, and this is Game's Pewter Perspective. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, smash that bell so you know every time that I'm dropping brand new content. Well, our back is against the wall. It's do or die. That's right, all or nothing. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers found a way to make the last game of the season a must-win game. Now, I'll be the first to admit, going on that four-game winning streak, I believe that we were in good hands and things are going to go our way against the New Orleans Saints at home at Raymond James Stadium. But it didn't go down that way. And that's part of the game. Things don't always go as planned. And when you look at what went down in that game, the amount of turnovers we had was just too much to overcome. Four turnovers. Um, Baker Mayfield, 22 for 33 passing, 309 yards, two touchdowns, but yet two interceptions. And we didn't come up fast. We got things going in the fourth quarter, but it was a little bit too late. Um, the Trey Palmer fumble uh, running catch hits the ground. The ground can never cause a fumble when there's contact. When there's no contact, the ground can cause a fumble. Very good play, big play that, you know, resulted in a turnover. Now, the one good thing going in our favor is we have the Carolina Panthers in Week 18 in a must-win game. Um the Carolina Panthers are 2-14, and, and I'm not lying, y'all. Most of the time when teams are done and know they're eliminated from postseason and the season's been as bad as it's been, those guys already got their tickets purchased to go back to their hometowns. The U-Haul's packed up, ready to go where they're from, and they're already getting ready to move on to the offseason the next season. Now, I'm not saying that the Panthers won't come out and give some kind of fight, but the way they looked last week against the Jacksonville Jaguars and also all the negative attention their owner, uh, David Tepper, is getting in the news, who knows what's going to happen. I think this plays into um, our favor. I mean, I don't like to talk and bash another team, but here it is. Tepper's throwing drinks at fans um, because he's upset at what's going on after Bryce Young threw that uh, interception late in the game. The NFL fined him $300,000, which is probably like finding you and I five bucks. Nothing to him. Um, but slowly but surely, that team is becoming the la the new Washington Redskins. I know they're the commanders now, but this guy's turning into Daniel Snyder, and he's always in the news for the wrong reasons. But lo and behold, it's not about them. At the end of the day, it's about well, what are we going to do? Are we going to go and – put our stamp on things, get the win, and get into the playoffs? Or are we going to go not come out, play with the energy and enthusiasm that we need, and fall short against the Carolina Panthers? I really don't see us falling short to the Carolina Panthers. Um, there's, I just I just can't see it. I mean, I know it's possible, but I just don't see that happening. Um, and then another question that I've been getting from people because they know I'm a Buccaneers fan is, they're like, James, do you think that Todd Bowles is coaching for his job? Um, I don't know. One week I would have said yes. Another week I would have said no. Going into our past four weeks before New Orleans, I would have said Todd Bowles did everything he needed to do to make sure that he uh, secured his job going into next season. I don't know. I don't know what the Glazier family's thinking. I don't know what our general manager's thinking. All I know is Todd Bowles has to get these guys to come out and play and don't even make it a conversation. Get into the playoffs, um, win the division, and then it's a lot harder to be replaced. Um, not to say it won't happen, but it's a lot harder to be replaced. Once you do the things that you can do, um, I'm happy to see the way Devin White's been playing. It's better. But our defense and our offense both, I think they came out knowing that regardless if they won or lost against New Orleans, they had a chance to still win the division and get into the playoffs in Week 18. And they played like that early and then got things going late in the game. Um, at the end of the day, guys, I'm going to say we're going to go in. We're going to win this game. Um, and it should be a big game. Uh, Baker Mayfield is 93 yards away from having 4,000 passing yards. So I think that he'll be motivated to come out and get that done. I believe this defense is motivated to – to make a statement because going into the playoffs, you always need to go in with good momentum. You can't go in. Um, we, we can't be getting off the struggle bus going into the playoffs, barely getting by to make good things happen. So I'm going to say Buccaneers come out. They win this game. I'm going to say 28 to three. I believe that 
the Carolina Panthers are going to shut it down. They're ready to get in their U-Hauls, get on their airplanes, and go on to get their offseason started. They have no interest in competing in this game. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think the Buccaneers will handle business, do what they need to do to win, or will this be a disappointing season where we give up the NFC South because we didn't come out and execute the way we should have? Until next time, peace.